Access all areas, afl.com.au, Monday afternoons. Damien Barrett will be here each and every week. Big round six of the AFL, and great to have a special guest with us in the studio, an old mate of mine, uh, Lindsay Gilby from the Western Bulldogs. Great to catch up with you, Lindsay. Welcome to you. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Stay, mate. Frustrating time for you in the game at the moment, Lindsay. You've had a sensational career. Where are you at, uh, injury-wise? When will we see you back? Um, yeah, kind of before probably the first intra-club match. I did the whole pre-season, probably beat my times when I was a 24, 25-year-old, so I was feeling really good and had a bit of a nick in the calf and um, probably missed, in the end I missed eight weeks with the calves are probably worse than quads or hammies. So, because um, it's something that doesn't get rest, you're always either walking on it, so. And uh, second game back in the VFL, I landed Orkley and done a medal. So. so what is the latest now? What are you giving yourself by way of return? Um, I'd, it's been four weeks. Uh, originally got diagnosed as a, a grade one, but after scans and, and stuff like that, it was a grade three. So um, another three weeks to go, probably. Got to build up the fitness, get the strength back into it, um, and hopefully return from there. You confident you'll play senior footy again? It's been a battle for you, hasn't it, uh, the last 18 months? It, it has, yeah. I'm aiming to get back as the, over the mid-season break, yep. um, probably round 13 or 14. I'm hoping to crack back into the seniors. I'll need at least a few games in the VFL, depending on form and, and where the team's at. Hopefully I'll get back in then, but it's been a bit of a tough road. The way the game's played, Gil, if you can get yourself right, uh, albeit in the twilight of your career, with great kicking skills and your ability to read the play at half back, I don't think the game's ever been suited more for the way that you played it. Mm. Do you look at it and, and, and feel like, just give me a chance, let my body hold up for a while and I can get out there and play well? I guess if I do come back at uh, the time when I want to come back, is um, a few guys will probably be starting to feel a bit weathered. It's that grind from probably round 10 to 16 or 17 is a really a grind in the season. So, And I look at Murph. Murph's having a, a brilliant year. Um, so I take confidence on, on what he's doing. What's your contract situation? I'm out at the end of this yeah, year. Yeah. Yeah. So you're obviously desperate to get back in and convince well, the club to keep you on, obviously. Yeah, that's the idea. And mm. I can understand, like, I'm a big believer in the clubs don't owe you anything when you finish. It's been a privilege to play for my footy club for so long and we get paid well to do something we do. So I'm not one of those players who would be upset at the end of the year if the club were to say, listen, let's part ways. I'm open for that. I'd love to keep playing, but... Would you look at joining another club if, if that momentum happened that, to be that way for you? Should the Bulldogs go down that path of not wanting it? I, I think I'd, any player would look at it. Like, yeah. you have a look at Lukey Power. I think he's he probably was on the outer at Brisbane and, and he's playing well now at GWS, so... Um, is footy left in you is what you're trying to say? Pardon? Yeah, there's a lot of footy left in you is what you're trying to say. Oh, I feel, yeah, my scans and that, and from our surgeon, David Young, said he goes, the best knees he's ever seen in... Uh, in all of his footy, which is quite surprising. I'm a bit knobby knee, so um, yeah, I, I believe I can keep going and I'll, they'll have to push me out. Sure. Linz, there's a couple of topical issues in footy that we want to get you as a current player. The head high uh, West Coast free kicks, you were here before and you saw the vision. Is it a concern or you just need to get on with it? Um, I think you've got to get on with it, but there is a definite technique in it's lifting the arm. And I, know, I saw a few on, on Luke Shue on the weekend. It was, uh, He's actually pretty good at it, and um, yeah, Ashton Hams is another one. There's two of them that are, that are, that are pretty good at it. So what's the technique uh, when you play West Coast? Do you just get, have to get lower on the tackle, or do you let them run into you? Or? Oh, oh, you I'd say you'd have to just get lower. Oh, they're, they're probably 178, 179 centimetres, so the time they're dark, they're, they're down to liver's height, so um, you, you'd have to get lower. That one was probably a bit stiff. Is the slide tackle a concern, Lens? It's a term that we, we're suddenly talking about every week. Why, why are players using that? Um, I think it's probably, I heard you say earlier, Damo, that it's something that they'll probably review at the end of the year. I think as it stands, like, I think Gary Rowan was pretty stiff, um, really stiff in the end to, to get an injury like that. I think the match review panel made a correct decision in Lindsay Thomas getting off. and. Um, I saw the one on Greg Broughton, I think it was before, and Andrew, oh, David Swallow, that um, yeah, I, I don't think they should have any case to answer for, but I can see the trend and how it's going, and I think the AFL will do something about it. But has it got to this stage? I mean, as Dust also said too, it just, it's just become right in front of us right now, whereas last year it crept in. It's here officially now. Why has it got this way where players do slide in? It wasn't the case two years ago as it was on a, as it is now anyway. I, I guess with the severity of the injuries, I think that's the only thing that's kind of brought it to a head. Gary Rowan, um, Swallow on the weekend. I think something 
Yeah, but like, you're being I mean, taught differently. You've got a different mindset I'm, when you're training. Is well, it I'm, is it just the the focus on players not pulling out in contests that the media gives? I, I'd, I'd put a little bit that down to that. I think you've got so many cameras on, on you these days that if something you do probably go half hearted of the ball, it's well, it's the first replay chain. Like not happy with that effort, or the coach won't be happy with that. So I think the pressure and the players are going in as hard as ever. I thought the Bulldogs were pretty competitive Friday night wins. They were a point down at, at three-quarter time. Just some costly turnovers in the latter part of uh, the game that really uh, uh, were probably the deciding factor in the end. We'll take a look at that kick across the ground. It was Murph under a heap of pressure. Again, they put a lot of work into Robert Murphy and really made sure he didn't have that space to run and, and carry. And